Welcome back to another episode on Beho Reviews in Gaming and Entertainment. While checking out games to come, I noticed a game so stylistic that at least my interest has been piqued. But so many times was I wrong about yet another 2D side scrolling game that catches your eye first before you even speak about how the game plays. Well, with Trek to Yomi, that is exactly how I would explain it. The icing on this cake wins in this side-scrolling action game well over substance. Trek to Yomi was developed by Flying Wild Hong and released by Devolver Digital in 2022 for Microsoft Windows, PlayStation 4 and 5, Xbox One, and the Xbox Series X and S. Something familiar was taking place here in this side-scrolling action game, but I was too much in awe of its presentation, not thinking about anything else, but moving to the next screen, and so forth. Finally figuring out, the look and feel of this game brings me back to the old days of the PlayStation and PlayStation 2. Games like Devil May Cry, Resident Evil 2, and Final Fantasy 7 were just some of the games Trek to Yomi harkens me back to. Now those past games I mentioned had one thing in common for their time. Unbelievable scenes that where the main character travels from point A to point B. Each area and each scene is static and has its own fantastic look or view of the level without the use of camera change. The developers knew exactly where they wanted your eye to be depicted at all times. Only if Trek to Yomi had the same fantastic gameplay of some of those games like Devil May Cry. The game takes the look and feel of old black and white samurai films that were influenced from the silent movies in the 1920s and 30s and combines 2D action just like the old films do and does it quite well. Too well where every scene is just as magical as the last where you just want to stop and admire the look and feel of the game that gives you with so much different vantage points to obscure landscapes the environment never, and I mean never, looks the same, and or disappoints at well. The sound is wonderful and very suspenseful as you progress through the game. Very authentic, from the sound effects to the very actors themselves, the game truly makes its mark from the sound alone. The sound works well with the image and visuals in creating an overall heightened experience. Iza. Never did I think that this normal revenge story could actually get me going. Although very normal and nothing here really screams deep character development where your character grows to be better. You never get that feeling except that you must go on in the name of justice and revenge. The story itself is nothing special, but with the sound, voice acting, combined with its own style and presentation, it makes anything that looks this good and told well enough to get past this. The one huge con, and I mean huge, is that the game is a bit on the easy side and it really has no mechanics with its wonderfully presented sword fighting. There is a combination where you can stun your opponent and then use your finisher move that also refills your life. Soon I was sticking to these motions until a boss fight here and there that would challenge based on their movements but not much else. <laughs>
there really isn't much to master here, and for some, that's enough. Reminded of the old 2D 16-bit era, where games only lasted so long, Shrek to Yomi can be beaten in 4 to 6 hours easily, depending on how you play the game. I myself play the game like a hack and slash and usually jump into the fray and strike first type of player. Here and there are options to kill an, your enemy without lifting your sword. All of those areas, I had to actually go back and study them many times as I figured that after the fact and dealt with the enemy my way, I said, oh, there is another way of dealing with this situation. Also, adding very simplistic puzzles I felt was a way to get the player out of the constant sword battles, and although very simplistic, does add charm when you do complete them. The game is beautiful, and the game is also very short. The game is a wonderful journey that shouldn't be passed up. Although the gameplay here is probably the weakest here, as you will memorize and crush your enemies, and never venture here again, you will always remember the incredible vistas, style, and immersion this game brings to you like no other has done, and why I chose to ignore its faults until I finally beat the game. Trek to Yomi gets a 7.5 out of 10 for being in absolutely one of the best presentations and style I have ever seen and been a part of that covers up the bland storytelling and even blander gameplay. A game I can't stop recommending playing at least once for its A-plus depiction of older black and white samurai films come to life. That's it for me on this review for Trek to Yomi. Please like and subscribe if you like my videos. Be ho out and great. Take us out of here, and I will see you all next upload. Uh.